Ahoy there, people of the interwebs, and welcome to this week's edition of Rock Lord of the Week. Yeah, it's um, possibly the one and only edition of Rock Lord of the Week. <coughs> That's the throat. That's why. And because we're going to be looking at this guy, this is Tombstone. He's a rock lord. He's a villainous, evil rock lord called Tombstone. That would make him evil and quite metal as well at the same time. So he's this lump of green quartz, apparently. Looks nice and shiny, really. And he's a rock. <laughs> what were they thinking? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. As a kid, I thought, what were they thinking? I did see it in the, the cinema's... When I was a kid, they even had an interval. That's how long ago it was. In this this um, cinema in the northwest of England, we went and watched Rock Lords, the first ever GoBots movie. <sighs> so yeah, this might be the only. This is the only rock. This is the only Rock Lord I own. I was suddenly go posh. Yeah. Yes. Um, and his name is Tombstone. He's a green rock. I have said this. As he's a rock lord, he does transform. So we'll do that. First of all, we unfold this bit here. Bang. Leg. Leg. Unfold these bits. Dun, dun, dun. Arms. And up here, head. And there we go. Isn't that? A handsome devil. I love the visor and the mouth on that face sculpt. Just absolutely gorgeous. So he's got a neck joint there. A neck joint there. So he can do some hunching over, should he wish. Like so I don't know why he's got that joint there. Because that is just the extent of what it looks like when he's transformed. And that's what it looks like in robot mode. But you can, if you want, you can have him looking up. Whee! Marching. Now... The arm joints, he's got this here, and he's got a bend here, and he's got a bend here. So he's got quite a lot of bends, but unfortunately they're just all going the wrong way. <laughs> so he can kind of do a crab dance, or, you know, what, like an Egyptian, whatever, you know. So he's got all that, but he's just did, did body popping. Like the Enchantress. But, yeah. They could have had a bend there maybe. But let's not. You know. Remember the age of the figure. And let's not. Go down. And, and, and torture him for his. Silly arm articulation. Rather we should applaud him. For this leg articulation. So he's got an up. Back. Back and forth. You know. Full on like so. Full on, like so. And big knee bends, obviously. I mean, he does transform that, which means his legs are just so, oh, really got a load of dynamic action there. I do like just a different color of green that's just inside his chest cavity. I don't have his accessory for him. But I bought this at TF Nation last year when there was a big spotlight on Rock Lords because it was their anniversary too. And yeah, so I got in the moment and I bought this guy for, for quite a cheap price. And he's lovely and he's green. It's TF Nation next week. In TF Nation there's going to be a spotlight on Brave. And I don't think Brave figures will be <laughs> as cheap as, as Rock Lord figures, but you know. Keep an eye on Toy Fu, eh? That's what we're going to do. So all in all, it's a nice little souvenir of not only the era of his time, when I wasn't watching that movie, and the villainous tombstone, but he's also a nice souvenir of the first ever TF Nation, when there was that spotlight on Rock Lords! That is it. That is... The last, first ever 
Rock Lords of the Week. Join me next time. There possibly won't be a TF TF. There will be a TF Nation next week. The better fucking had me. Fucking hell, if there wasn't a TF Nation, imagine all those Tony Russell videos for naught, eh? But there will be TF Nation next week, so there'll be a haul video at least. But we might not get time to make an answer. I always make wild promises about, yeah, we'll make, we'll film a, a Transformer of the Week at TF Nation or Auto Assembly or whatever is proceeding, but it never happens. Get a few drinks and buy some robots. And say hello to whoever's there. But until then, you know what you've got to do. You have got to be excellent to each other. You've got to party on, dudes. And because I, I, you deserve it, oh, yes, you do. It's time for the Bisto. Bisto!